Now let's learn about light independent reactions. The ATP and NADPH created during the light dependent reactions proceed to the light independent reactions. The light independent reactions are also known as the Kelvin cycle or dark reactions. These reactions can occur in light or dark, thus dark reactions is not an accurate name. The Kelvin cycle uses the ATP and NADPH to convert CO2 into glucose in a multi-step process. In three turns of the cycle, we use nine ATP, so here's three and here's six, making nine. We use six NADPH and we use three CO2s to make a three carbon sugar. To make one six carbon glucose molecule, we need to double those. So it takes 18 ATP, 12 NADPH, and six CO2 molecules. The Kelvin cycle is also called carbon fixing. This means that carbon, a gas in the atmosphere, in the form of CO2, is turned into a solid as a glucose. When glucose is used in respiration, that carbon is then released back into the atmosphere. This process of fixing and releasing carbon is called the carbon cycle. Carbon is not being created or destroyed, but is being cycled through the environment. The light reactions produce equal amounts of ATP and NADPH, but the Kelvin cycle uses more ATP, 18, than NADPH, 12, to make a glucose molecule. To have enough ATP, photosynthetic organisms use the cyclic energy transport to create the needed ATP.